Hello, everyone who is listening and who is tuning in. This is the Gamers in the Loop podcast. My name is Nightwing, and I am with my co host, DJ Master T and Digi. <laughs> <laughs> take two. Take two, take obviously. Two. This is take two. No one gets it done in one take. That's bullshit. This is the first episode, obviously, to let you guys know, for those who are listening, for those who are listening later. Um, we are a podcast that are talking about the things that we like and love, which is involving gaming, anime, music, comic books, current events, and maybe a little bit of politics if you feel like it, you know? Um, yeah, but we try not to. We'll, we'll try not to go too far into that because we understand uh, everyone has their views. Bump, 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 bump. Hey, you, you know, what if your taxes are good. All right, so, you know what I mean? Like, so with that being said, <laughs> we're um, going to be talking about gaming. So, yeah, to start things off. To start things off. No, first things first, let's tell everybody about it. So True. Okay, so for those who don't know who I am, depending on whatever time you are listening to this, my name is, I go by the name Nightwing. I am a rapper. Um, I rap about games, anime, comic books, and topics that are related to this podcast as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty much if you listen to his music, it's similar to how to our top we're gonna do, things we're going to discuss. In yeah. Show. Yeah, and views and stuff like that. You're getting views? Mm. <laughs> uh, show you the ones pay for them? Nah. <laughs> We're gonna be authentic. We're gonna try to try our best to be. I get that bag first now, nah, but. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. All right, so DJ Master T, go yeah, ahead. What's going on? My name is DJ Master T. I am a DJ, obviously. Um, semi-retired from making beats. I blame Nightwing here for getting me back into beat making, but you know that's a whole nother topic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick. Um, I do have a speech impediment, so if you hear me talking weirdly, I cannot pronounce the letter R. I've always had trouble with that, so just to clarify that in case you're wondering, why is this dude talking so weird? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to pass it off to Digi here, see what we got. And my name is Digi. Um, I am the oldest out of, I would say, like 14 kids at home. And um, That's an exaggeration. Exactly, it definitely <laughs> feels like it. And I promise you this, um, I trained all my siblings well. They all love anime, gaming, or if not, some type of um, outlet of the anime, gamer, music, comic book community. Mm. Mm -hmm. And what he left out is that he is a very skilled photographer and is going to school currently for it. I don't know how he left that out. Kind of just trying to make sure I finish school first, then trying to finish up on any other actual projects that haven't uh, gotten finished mm. in a very, very long time. Well, of course. I think our listeners, whoever decides to listen, have actually been through that or are currently going through that, you know, depending on the demographic who decides to hear us out. So, with that being said, we are up to the gaming portion of this podcast. I am not going to lie to any of the following people who are listening. We have been on the third take because I keep saying the real name of DJ Master T because for some reason I can't say DJ Master T in conversation because I've known this man since I was 14. Just call me T. Man, right. Or T. Is, okay. I'm about to just call, call him T. T. So I'm, T. You, it's your, stick with T. It's my fault. It's Nightwing's idea. It's Nightwing's idea. The dude by aliases and I fucked so. up. Yeah, he messed that up. So well, you you'll figure out each other's names when everything goes down. So, with that being said, Spider Man has come out recently. Depending on whatever time you are listening to it, you know the date. As of the recording of today, it is Sunday, September 9th, So the game has been out for two days now. Okay. By the time you guys hear it, it'll probably be weeks, months, years, whenever. Whenever, right? Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, the Spider Man game. Like I said before, it's probably well. You didn't hear me say it before, but I openly will say it is probably the best spot. It is the best Spider-Man man game ever made. Period. And I could easily agree. Yes, and Terrence as re- God damn it. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yo, fuck it, bro. My name's Matt. <laughs> the rest of is Terrence. And DG's Eric. Eric. So if we say any personal names, that's who we are. You're gonna find us on Facebook, whatever. I'm tired of fucking editing this shit. (laughs) I'm not in the mood. Well, that's your fault. But it's whatever, whatever. Okay. So whatever. So T 
Play the game. Nice. We being a hundred right now. This is probably gonna be the most care, entertaining man. part. I honestly don't care. It's just a name. Fuck you, it. You know how many people name Matt? You know I know. I know. Terrence, I know. You know I know. I know. I got you. I got you. Let's go back into it. It's all good. Terrence has played. Has recently played. Did a marathon of himself, basically playing every single Spider-Man game that he can get his hands on, which uh, is probably all of them. Basically every Spider-Man that was ever released for PlayStation, from so from Spider-Man PS One all the way up to the. Atrocious, uh, amazing Spider-Man Two, which Ooh. I don't even want to get into. Yeah, yeah, yeah that that could be another topic and, for another that, episode. And, which is sad, considering the first game was actually great. Yeah, you see how far high they gotten and how low they have gotten yeah. before. So we are very happy to say that this Spider-Man game is very good. It is has, um, basically almost everything you would want in a Spider-Man game, and probably more. They have suits in the game that you can earn, and it doesn't. It isn't yeah, but every Spider-Man extremely game hard. Mm, there's some games that don't. There's mm-hmm. Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure Spider-Man Two or Spider-Man Three don't have it. Let me see. Spider-Man Two, yeah. Spider-Man Two don't got it. Spider-Man Three don't got it. Mm. Um, Web of Shadows, if you want to count the black suit. Yeah, but like, costume, yeah. But. So it's like um, to go into that. Every other one. Edge of Time didn't have it. Yeah. See. So it's like. This Spider-Man game, the first thing that I've noticed and made me enjoy this game o- overall, we'll be brief on it, um, technically. Well, I'm not no, so brief, not we'll so take, brief. We'll, be, we'll, we'll take, take our time. Take, we'll take as long as we want to discuss however, whatever we want to talk about. All right, that's fine. Cool, T. Mm-hmm. So, um, this game in, made me enjoy it a lot because of the swinging mechanics that it has in there. I like the combat. It's challenging but easy to learn. They have so much to add to it as you play the game. Of course, of being within the side missions of what you're doing, you can once you if you're like a completionist, like I assume T is, you have a lot to fight with. I'm definitely doing everything in that game as soon as becomes available. Yeah, and it's not. By the way, we're we're not very far in the game Mm -hmm. yet. We're probably like I don't know a quarter of the way. We're we're less we're less than fifty percent. Yeah, but. Both of us have been kind of going on like the side missions more often than because the actual unlike, story. Unlike most games, like this one, like the well, with the side missions in this game, they give you tokens that you can use to upgrade anything or unlock stuff. Your so combat you, skills, your gadgets so that you if have, you unlock getting the suits, suit. You need to do certain side missions, like if you take pictures of the landscape or find your book bag. You have to do a certain amount of side missions, like get, capturing mm-hmm. your book bag. That's around the city from the time of you being Spider Man because which this I, which I already did and I unlocked, I unlocked that Spider Man Homecoming suit. Cool. Mm-hmm. Spoiler. Um, because they spoilers. <laughs> it, it's uh, in the trailers. So. Oh, I right, but they of how to get it. You know, well either I right, cheat code, but um, the game tells you how to get it anyway. So. Yeah, but um, spoilers. Right, <laughs> right. So, um. It's it you can do a lot of side missions and all those give you certain type of tokens, backpack tokens, crime tokens, research tokens, mm-hmm. and landmark tokens. A combination of how many you have, you can acquire certain costumes. We're not gonna divulge any certain more costumes, costumes or gadgets upgrades or within the game. Within the game and modifications for your your suits. Yes. So, Mod- well, yeah, mm, yeah, no, mo- yeah. yeah modifications for your suits and how and how you want to go like, about it. So like augmentations, not you can't customize the suit itself, but yeah, like it's one like certain certain perks that you get for your suit, like you can uh, you enemies, can take more of a bullet. Be, yeah, you can take more more damage from a melee or someone shooting at you. Yeah, you, or you, can, you know it'll show you certain things on the map. Or yeah. You know, enemies won't detect you as much. Yeah, stuff like that. So, with anyone that's hearing this game, this is just a brief overview, and this game already has a lot. Because... And we're only two days into this game. Exactly. So, it's like, I feel like this game... I can only imagine... um, How much, yeah, what the ending can bring of the game. Like, how much... Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. You petty for that, yo. <laughs> I wasn't even trying. No, because Digi watched me play the game, so he's seen some things, you know. Yeah. He He's he's mad at Microsoft is, and Sony. It's cool. I'm mad at my Sony only for the fact that they won't do cross. Uh, one, they don't want to share their good titles. Mm. And two, they don't want to cross the only thing platforms. Capitalism. 
Right. They, they, they can capitalize <laughs> and they can own it, and that's the smart thing. Mm. Like, damn, they are good at capitalism because their capitalism is powerful as fuck. The irony, because they in Japan, so exactly. But um, <laughs> nah, like with with so <clears throat> with that, let's let's go into. Well, I think it's a good segue to go into that type of topic, which is the whole console war thing that's been going on. Cause is that even still a thing? Oh, it is. Oh, it's yeah. A big thing. I just had, like I said, speaking on... Um, it's just not as big as it used to be. No, it's still very big. Because speaking on the controversy between um, Microsoft, Microsoft and Sony, and Sony, Sony um, was actually just recently in an article talking about how why they will not do cross platforming with Fortnite. The and now it's, a, now really it's like really another big. BS excuse that they, that they just try to no, they, control it. They just no, said, no, they just said they, they didn't said. want they to. No, they said that, well, the reason why we're not going to do cross platforming is because of the fact that when it comes to PlayStation, PlayStation is the place to be. We want to give you the best, we are giving you the best experience. So you're not going to get that while playing on um, PlayStation and then, you know, you can switch to your phone or switch to the Xbox or switch to uh, but uh, the Switch. The thing is, this is PlayStation, and this is literally what they said but, in, uh, in the interview. But here's the thing. They, they already cross-platforming with PC and the phones. Yes, PC will be one thing, and I think, phones is another thing. I they refuse to platform with any that's not consoles. what I just wish they could honestly, just be honest and say, look, we don't want to cross play with our competition. That's basically what it comes down to. That's what they so said, like, too. Like I said, they literally said that and they say that they're the best. Yeah, experience. they're just saying it in a in a very nice way. But they're like, we them niggas. <laughs> we them, <laughs> we them, we them boys. boys. <laughs> we them boys. <laughs> you know, we ain't going to play around with our competition now that they want to play around with us. Because with that being said, I've because I've seen articles, I read up on it. Mm-hmm. Let's not act like PS3 when PS3 was going on in that era of the generation when PS3 was the the weaker link of mm-hmm. of the three that they didn't try it. Yeah. They tried it. I felt like PS3 was actually still a very strong competitor. It was a com- strong end. competitor, but Towards like we can, I can honestly say like Xbox 360 won that era. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we we held its own, but it's like. Xbox 360 had a lot of games at that yeah, time. It's so a lot Nintendo of was stuff. Like an afterthought. Then connect didn't connect come out with 360? Mm-hmm. So it definitely yeah, won that too. It had connect, but I was pretty sure that didn't um PlayStation have the, well, PlayStation had move and that was not as good as that. And not as they, they tried it, it just yeah, did not work. Like I told it was PS2 era. Still. Yeah, I'm still, but they didn't even that they've change something and it feels like they still have not progressed off of besides for PlayStation 4 um, VR which is still having its own problems but still is a progression in its own yeah but that's because like overall like the reason why I give Xbox 360 in that era the winning one is because Connect was something that you can play and it brought in people that didn't want to play a game maybe they just want to do Just Dance and shit like that and it was it was no controller True. it was really fun now yeah it probably had its little issues but they didn't have it as much as per se the PlayStation iToy or whatever the fuck we was calling it mm-hmm. or the Wii, the Wii itself is like is just the gimmick. I call it gimmick because it in the gimmick. end of the day, it yeah, yeah, it it's it's it a, a gimmick, gimmick. It's an attachment to a game, but it's like the Wii to me was just the attachment. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the console, and then yeah. at the same time, the the Nintendo has its own issues as as for me for itself that it did work on and fix when Especially Switch came Switch. out. Yeah, once the Switch came out, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah, mm-hmm. now now was now it's game on. But now mm-hmm. the funny thing is. When PlayStation was down and saying, yo, let's cross-platform. Xbox and we were like, nah, we good. Mm. Y'all, you, 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 you all right. You, you got, yeah, you got, true. you got that's PlayStation true. All-Stars. Go ahead and, go ahead and do <laughs> you, bro. I mean, that's it's not true. Do so, your. <laughs> so, but, uh, if we're talking about PlayStation <laughs> yeah. All-Stars, one, Microsoft was, we don't want to, we don't, that. we, because, yeah, because it was smart. It was, they were smart. It was crazy. They were smart. That's why. Smart Xbox Nintendo, is smart for not doing that exactly. game. That game is horrible. Xbox, <laughs> Xbox don't even got that many characters. I'm mad. Them. No, they could have finessed they it, though. They, they could have finessed it. It's Microsoft. PlayStation had its actual, like, good roster. It just, it didn't execute it properly. The game sucked. Like I said, it was a good roster. The game would have been fine if they had an option to knock your opponents off the stage. That would be nice. Yeah, like, how are you going to copy... All right, we're not going to go too hard. How, like, how are you going to copy Smash Bros? Like, yeah. I respect it for trying to do something different, but... It's trash. It, it, yeah, it didn't work out. You, you got to build up a meter. Like, that could have been, like, yeah. one, uh, one option. And then and then when you get to level three, you automatically just kill people. So, like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, and, it's and, just dumb. And that game was all balanced to begin with. Exactly. Some level twos were... 
more powerful than some level three. Word, because where does Bond? I play with Raiden. If you don't know your games, Raiden is the character that's from Metal Gear Solid. And with not the to sword. be confused with Raiden from Mortal Kombat or Raiden from SNK. That's um, it. yeah, oh, it's a lot yeah, of yeah. Raiden, they did yeah, that. That name is mm-hmm. very. I forgot. Well, right. more used Ironically, the yeah, that name is kind of common in gaming sometimes, yeah. huh? Yeah, huh. yeah, now that we think about it. Yeah, all of them had to Raiden do with lightning. Raiden the wrestler, hmm. Raiden the, Raiden Raiden the, the cyber cyber ninja. cybernetic ninja who kills people. But mm-hmm. in that game, when I played with Raiden, I was really good because he had a good old Connor. And then when I got to the level two, I was kind of just like unstoppable for mm-hmm. a moment. But then what pissed me off is like, oh, yeah, I knocked him off the stage. Out and then they just bounce. They could just jump back, or they'll just fall back. through, come back. Like, what's the fuck? What the hell's the point? Mm-hmm. You know. But that's the only amount of time we're gonna talk about that game in yeah. this whole series. Uh, so, so if, we're gonna if, go back to the console. Wars. Sony is here so if y'all ever decide to make a sequel, just please add that option to knock people off the stage. I don't mind that you have the supers in there, but do better. Yeah, leave bad. that, <laughs> leave that fucking game alone. Leave it in the grave. Don't make no goddamn sequel. No. You can make a better game. Yeah, make another that's game. What, that's no, what I'm like, no, make, a better game. make another game. Don't, don't even touch that shit. You good? Leave that, leave that to we. That's his, that's leave his that in Nintendo. That's his opinion. I, 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 yo, people that are listening, type in the comments if you really want a sequel of that game or if you just want to be left alone. Some games need to be left alone. Now to go back to the console. No, that I agree actually, with. some games need to be left alone. Yes, I think so a lot of things need to be left alone. Deserves at least a second chance, considering it only had one outing. Now, Facts. If they mess up now. If they mess up the second time, then I, I yeah. think it's safe See, to say. See, but that's that. just a waste of time. And plus, now it's like Sony. Sony, like, what characters do they have that's like long standing now? Like uh, PS3 Aloy had more from Horizon. Okay, you so you got the characters from Last of Us, Joel and Still Ellie. Still got God of War too. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could put a trace in there now. Last of Us, like you just said. Yeah, what you, think? Uh, you, you got good. Norman Reedus' character from Death Stranding that's coming out. You that's got, only Sony. Yeah, that's only Sony. Oh my God, did you? I'm so and, sorry. And Shut up. Because <laughs> you was talking about that game. You more interested in that yeah, game man. than I am. Damn. And, uh, you got the, you got the game from Days Gone that, that they could use. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right. My soul I see the point. I'm not messing with enough. your soul. Uh, it's Sony. It's, just, it's Sony. Sony I don't soul. own no Sony. Don't pay me, bro. But I, <laughs> all right. But let's let's um. But of course, yeah, with that, we with about. that being said, yes, the console wars. This is this is our segment of the console wars. If what we think about it, it's it's now that the cross play isn't really an option through all all of them. Actually, do. The Switch is actually no, like no. Switch Nintendo and Xbox and, 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 and TNT, are talking. they're tag teaming. They're talking now, but they're, they're like, also talking with phones. They're talking with PC. Oh. They're talking about all. They are, like, hey, like the dude yeah, is like, like the but, Wii's but, on the phone. But that, but that, yeah, see, Nintendo yeah, the, and, the, the, the Nintendo and, and Xbox like they call each other on the phone. Like, yo, you heard about you heard what Sony said? Yeah, they saying they bringing the best they experience. They were mocking them on yeah, Twitter. Fuck them guys. Like, fuck those assholes. Let's just do it. Let's do it for the fans. They can do it for the fans. Profit so much because the way Fortnite wants I to make mean, Fortnite, not even talking about Microsoft know, or cool, Nintendo. Cool. I'm saying just Fortnite alone could one benefit from everyone just being a whole console, just crossover. It'd be amazing. I, Same for um even uh Mike. Uh, I Minecraft. don't know. That would I, be such a big. If it was up. if it was certain games, I'd be cool with it. But I think that that can potentially start a whole whole another issue that. Like I don't even know what to call My it, game. but I just feel like there's something else that will come up because if it's cross, like certain games can be cross platform, mm-hmm. but you have to pay for a cross platform. Wow, that mean? actually makes a good idea. Never mind. Nah. Um, no, it's like if you like, like uh, let's say all of them were cross platform, right? Mm-hmm. But you own the game, mm-hmm. like Fortnite's free. But let's say it's a game like, like uh, Injustice Two. Okay. Um, you want to. I want to play you on your Xbox instead mm-hmm. of your PS4. Or maybe account. you have Xbox and you want to bring your character. Yeah, right. To your so I already have PlayStation Plus mm-hmm. that has its own little whatever net code, whatever the mm-hmm. hell they do. Xbox has a live, whatever, whatever the hell they do, right? Mm-hmm. So if I want to play you to have on a game that's cross play able, mm-hmm. knowing these consoles. And knowing how greedy these corporations are. Yeah, corporations are kind of greedy. Everyone's trying Ooh, to get bread. Greedy. We, you know, I like you know, it is. They're super. Greedy. They slowed it down though. It's nah. like, cause like, no, 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 no. Let me, let me explain. Let me explain. I got you. I got you. I've been preparing for this podcast for a long time. <laughs> nah, but um, my my idea is what they would do is they would charge us to be able to cross platform, like, 
like how we pay for PlayStation Plus and Live, we have to pay extra to be able to cross platform. And I'd be okay with that. I shit, I'd pay for it. See, that would be a but it depends on the pricing. Like, like you know what I mean? Okay, well, if they kept it to a reasonable pricing of like maybe why like can't they just include five it with bucks? the plan if you already? Five dollars. Literally, mm. like I said, if you put it in as five dollars, something simple as that. You know how many people in the world are gonna be like, shit, five dollars? I can do that for a damn game. They ain't gonna do no five dollars. It'll saying, be like for, fifteen. For, I'm saying, but between, even if it's fifteen, five dollars, fifteen, they're not gonna do like seventy dollars to cross platform. That's excessive, and that's super. Good. I'm just saying, and some of these companies be doing stupid Uber shit. Game. But I'm saying, yeah. like, if it was five dollars to fifteen dollars, if anybody's gonna something do something people, like that, it's Nintendo. Actually, no, no, I, I put it on Microsoft. They tried Microsoft's not letting us use the games. Ones that really want to just like now, like they see where they're going with their games. They understand like what the console is doing, and they would rather spread out and work with other companies. That's only because of the fact that now they see that. They didn't see that shit before because they're like, well, we're just kind of trying to make ourselves bigger. Word. Now, and... since they're getting to the point where, like, are we just going to keep making the new console this, the new console that, mm-hmm. and just still keep doing that as an argument? Or would you rather just have, like, a big console company where everyone and, works together and makes something and that's bigger? Why there's that's rumor. their um, And that's why there's rumors only. going around that whenever the PS5 and Xbox 2.0... yeah. You know, Word five five twenty whatever yeah, they want to call it. Cool. There's so that, that, there's rumors going right. around that those might be the last consoles, and then after that they might just work together. Word. Exactly. Now with that being said, with our thoughts on the console war that is still ongoing. Yeah. What? Say one game that you are looking forward to coming out. For me personally. Just in the console wars. No, just, just any game, general, any like game. Period. You know, it could be it could be a game on stream. It's whatever. Oh, wow. Smash Brothers uh, Ultimate. Word. Mm-hmm. For me, Cyberpunk 2077. Word. You mean 2099? <laughs> no, he's being... He's yeah. but he's Spider-Man 2099. Oh, you're not... That's okay. not a pun? That yeah, wasn't a pun I, I, on Spider-Man? I thought he was going to say that. I thought it was a Spider-Man but pun. But no, that, yeah. he could get away with that because literally there's... Um, it's from damn the 48-minute um, trailer that they've uploaded, mm-hmm. there is an ability where basically you can jump onto the walls kind of like a Spider-Man and take niggas out. I'm telling you now, well, that made me know. feel like I want to play this fucking go. game. Just, just put a Miguel O'Hara in the game and you're set. Well, you that's probably already have one. You can be a guy or a girl. You can basically customize yeah, the way you want to look. It. I, I seen fucking it. want the game. True. I've seen it. It looks interesting. I'm not buying it, but I, <laughs> I, like, I, I like the fact that the game is out. Like, there's certain games I'm like... Have seen the 48-minute trailer? No, not yet, but I, I, I like, I, I'm just looking at it like, yo, I don't... Like, I got Spider-Man. I'm good. I'm good like for said, a while. Well, like I said, good this game's not coming out to, they say, earliest of 2019. See, but the game I'm interested in is the, and that might sound real basic comparably to what y'all were looking forward to. There's a uh, My Hero Academia game, okay, fighting game. Okay. I'm interested in that. Yeah, Ain't I really like the that. series. And with that segue, Ain't nothing wrong with that. We are in to the anime bracket of or topic of this podcast. Now, just to give y'all a heads up, I'm not as big on anime as. Digi and Nightwing. But he will be. And one day. Soon. Nah, but, um, uh, yeah, he will. He's <laughs> catching up. He's catching nah, up. He's slowly catching but up. surely. It, as far as it, animes yeah. go, I've seen the entirety of Dragon Ball in, in the last recent years, which took me a total of two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely grew up on Pokemon. Godzilla, the movie. That definitely the, the counts. The anime Godzilla's, well, yeah. that's just because I'm a diehard Godzilla fan. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but, yes but, Terrence like, the movie is... wasn't bad, was it? Huh? Was the movie bad? The first one was great. The second one was Next. iffy. So <sighs> hopefully the third one they can't, they could picks just it What, the one on Netflix? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. I forgot I, it was on there. I, huh? I forgot it was on there. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. So, uh, and let's see, what else? Grew up on Pokemon. Uh, saw, like, the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm. Beyblade. Was mm, that word. joint? Was that. Um, Bakugan. So I saw all like the kitty animes growing up. Well, yeah. it was easier to watch. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. it was like, one of the things that like everyone kind of like. And then as far as like more recent stuff, um, obviously Dragon Ball, everything Dragon Ball related. Yeah, you Dragon said Dragon Ball Z, Super, GT mm-hmm. movies, even GT. Word. One Punch Man. We can love that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't wait for season two. It's coming soon. Mm-hmm. Started Attack on Titan recently. Right. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm like three episodes oh, in. Oh, so. shit. You saw the mob get eaten. No spoilers. I should know already. <laughs> um, <laughs> I seen that with y'all them, all them years ago. 
Oh, you were there too? <laughs> you. All right, all right. Word. Too quick with Digi, because if Digi explains everything he's ever watched or read, we the whole episode would be like three hours. Yeah. Digi is the old, damn near ultimate otaku in the sense of this grouping. Otaku. Even though I'm tech, I'm with Otaku Gang, the rap group. Yeah. Shout out to Otaku Gang. Otaku. Um, so with that being said, right, with the titles that Tarrant T. Fuck it. Uh, the it, ta- whatever, 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 whatever. It's just me. Care. It's me. It's a name. The titles, a, the titles yeah. that T has said brings up a, a conversation that me and Digi have had. Terrence, I think you can go into it. Now, hmm. we'll start off with Dragon Ball Z. And then, of course, this might lead into a nice segue into our next topic, which is comic books, because it kind of, it's kind of a thing throughout the the topics that we are speaking of. All of them, actually. Mm. With Dragon Ball Z and my slight problem with nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Or not mm-hmm. full. Or how fans use nostalgia or how nostalgia affects fans. Whatever way you want to put about it. Of course, you can comment and discuss it with us and talk, you know, talk to us if you want to. But Dragon Ball Z is one of the goats of anime the reason why is because of what it's done for anime but if you compare it to other anime shows throughout time some of them terrence might not watch like yu yu haku show yep. it's not there yet but when he does he's going to understand what i'm saying yeah. if you put it up next to attack on titan if you put it up next to hunter hunter hunter, hunter, <laughs> hunter, x, hunter x hunter for all y'all who yeah if yeah if you're not otaku is hunter x hunter but real people say hunter hunter real talk and x mm-hmm. is silent exactly um I'm still going to call it Hunter X. It is what it is, bro. But, like, when you see these anime, when anyone looks into this animes and compare them, yes, Dragon Ball Z is very action-packed. It has it's brought the foundation of what other animes have done, even Bleach. And I hate the ending, but I can't lie. Like, the Yo, majority of the series is dope. Ah, I heard. I, see, I yeah, think so. talking about a lot of Bleach things. There's a, like, there's a clip. Even getting a, um, there's a video. A for, like, its kids. They're gonna be coming up with a new Word. series. Word, Word. but like, but that's the thing with 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 Dragon Ball Z. So my thing with Dragon Ball Z is, is that it is definitely in the top ten, but it's not in my top twenty. It's not my it, no no. Is it in my top ten? It's not in my top five or top three. I mean, I'm not. We we will spend probably next episode uh, spitting our next top three. That way we can actually think about it because on on spot. I can easily give you my top three right now. Okay. All right, go ahead, T. Uh, Let's see. Number three, Pokemon. Number two, One Punch Man. Number one, Dragon Ball. But then again, I have, uh, that's only because I'm not big on anime. So, so that's just my personal opinion. It of, could course. Change. of course. Of course. Because, yeah, exactly. So we'll keep we those. Attack on Titan could just creep up and blow blow my expectations out the water. I'm pretty fucking sure it will. <laughs> but but uh, we, we, won't te- we won't say nothing to ruin it for you. I exactly. want you to see that. With with me and Digi, we won't we won't go in our top threes. Reason being is because too many. It, it, it's too many. It account. slides into two major and rounds. And y'all be, seen and y'all seen so much more than me, so y'all exactly. need yeah, time we're to sit years in. So we're I can years talk in. about how like one for me, I can watch different types of genres. I could be into the romance genre or the action genre or the fantasy genre. And if I try to fight for like which one's first, it's gonna be a week. Word. Word. Yeah, I don't go by genres. I just I, well, I just clump them all say, together. I mm. would say clump them all together. But if you actually That's get to the level what I get to, or what he's got to, mm-hmm. you'll start seeing like, damn, I can't say this one's better than this one, because if I would put it in the romance category, oh, this romance, this is the top one, and then this one, this one. Yeah, like you can't put Dragon Ball Z in a romance. Exactly. Goku's a, Goku's a fuckboy. Exactly. And, and wholeheartedly. <laughs> I have my opinions on Goku. Yeah, which, seven. which... The, 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 Goku yeah, the issue... He- heavily, yeah. <laughs> which is ironic considering it's... At the top of my list right now. Of course, yeah. It's like, because nostalgia brings fans to be like, Dragon Ball Z is the greatest ever. And it's exactly. like, unless like, there's otakus and people that are anime fans that just absolutely don't say that. They have that argument. But there's like yeah. the casuals who say that because that's what they remember from Toonami and all that shit. Mm-hmm. And we understand that. But my issue with Dragon Ball, the whole series, is that they focus on Goku so much. Now, Dragon Ball 
when he's a kid growing up into a teenager. He fights King Piccolo to regular Piccolo Jr. I completely understand, understand that. That's his series, right? His era. Now Z comes into play. Where it still starts off feeling like his era. So yeah. You understand. It's, but you see he's had he has a son. a son. And you will see that it would breed maybe into his story. And that's where I felt like that's why I'm so upset personally that after the Cell Saga, it felt like we were going to get something more about Gohan, but we got more, when we got the Great Saiyan Man, it just felt like I'm lost in what they're trying to do with him. And then they just said, ah, let's just go back to Gohan. It looked like it didn't know what to do with him. Exactly. Like, because in, in, in all actuality, when you really look at it, right? Because Gohan and Trunks are my favorite characters. Future yes. Trunks, by the way. Even though I like GT as as Trunks as well. Goku, I hate Goku. I completely understand your son. I think he's a good character as a fighter. Yeah. Ah. As a fighter. Oh. Okay, as a fighter. No, because we had no. this We had this talk. We had this talk, which we're going to get into. Okay. Because my hot take with this is that it's not... It's not Goku has no real development yes, as, a character. as Z to Super. If anything, he's lost development from Z to Super because in Z... He had at least a moral stand ground. He under he had a conscious set in his mind of when he fucked up. Yeah. A good moment to explain that is when, as everyone knows who watched Dragon Ball Z, yo, Gohan, you want to fight Cell real quick? Wait, what? I bet. Yo, Cell, here's a sensu bean. Wait, what? And then Piccolo's like, yo, son, you going to get your son killed? Nah, son, I don't know if you noticed, but Gohan, when he gets angry... His hands come up by like 20%. Exactly. And then Piccolo's like, but he don't like to fight, bro. And then Pic and then Goku's like, wait, what? And then everything transpires, which brings the best development of Gohan mm -hmm. from when he's a kid to growing up. Because we've seen so many moments of Z going up to that point with Cell of him f having those flash angers and his power flaring to the point that he even surpasses his own father at some times. Exactly. And everyone else in the room. The thing about it that that development of Goku, that only development that I can really call out, or at least the moral standing, is like he understood that he put his son in a situation where his son probably couldn't handle it because his son was 11 at the time. Mm -hmm. Technically yeah. 10, but he was 11 because he was in a hot body time chamber, and that's a year, so his it's birthday 11. passed. And 11. then his birthday passed right after he got out the time chamber, too. So, yeah, he was 12, actually. So, yeah. Goku. You know, you know, sorry, teleport cell when he's about to blow up to mm -hmm. King Kai's planet, Goku dies. But you at least know that Goku decided not to come back to Earth because he's like, yo, there's too many people coming back to Earth trying to destroy it because they want to get at me. Mm -hmm. But if I'm already dead, I already helped them out. So, you know, and in that aspect, there's some intelligence that Goku has. But in Super... Homeboy dead ass is retarded. Like a lot of times, like like at least in the first, you know, when he, when Burris came through to fight, mm -hmm. couldn't avoid that. Is the god of destruction want to fight you? You find a way to become stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of a win win situation. If not a win win, your whole earth dies. You have to do what you gotta do, bro. Exactly. Really? And and that's fine. But then you go to the other seasons like Zamasu. Zama the Zamasu oh thing. God. The Zamasu. The Zamasu that. saga. I can't, I can't fault Goku on anything in the Zamasu saga. No, that was all his I fault. Fuck Zamasu. I give a, a fault on the story for me for Zamasu. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not gonna go into the dra Dragon Ball story. In that story yo. I'm saying just in that movie. arc itself, what? it felt like everything kept if coming. Goku up. couldn't, if Goku um couldn't just stay away and not fight him, then all that junk would have went down the way it did. Although I'm kind of glad it did, because then we got to see the evolution of Trunks. Which is a interesting, but very at the same time. I don't see I feel like story plot only. I don't see no. Nah, that's the thing. It's like with like story with, plot only. But yeah, yeah. But with 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 Zamasu saga, I don't even blame Zamasu was trying to give Goku the hands, and Goku just defended himself and beat his ass because he was like, oh, the humans ain't nothing in their ass. It's like a a, a Frieza point too, except Frieza was a better delivered. Racist, but like, racist. like, but freezing, like, I, right, but they're racist, but like, you know, I mean, <laughs> of literal race, but like, 
Zamatsu was like, yo, the humans are not, they're gonna destroy everything, we need to just eradicate them, and then he sees Goku, like, how dare you talk to the gods like that, you need to fight me, and then Goku beat his ass in Super Saiyan 2, mm -hmm. not even Super Saiyan 3, mm -hmm. he didn't even lose his eyebrows for him, Super Saiyan 2, and then Zamatsu got mad and decided to make himself a into a human mm -hmm. to destroy humans, because well, you're causing... He switch he switched his essence into a human body which makes him human. Oh alright, we're we going by Saint humanoid. Cause that's what he that's why they call him humans. There's humanoid. When gods call somebody humans, that's like the humanoid people. Okay. Cause they were gods. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying. But like that part I don't blame Goku for nothing. He literally could not help that situation. And Trunks could not help that situation, even though he did his very best. The one thing I could say about Super is that they gave us the people that we've been asking for back because everyone's been asking for Future Trunks for the longest time. Changed his hair, but I'm fine with it. Yeah. And they gave us 17. Yeah. Now, the goal, let, let's go to the last saga so far because we don't know if there's a new season coming or not, um, which is the tournament, mm -hmm. the universe tournament where the <laughs> people can re it. That's Goku's fault. And the thing that makes it bad is that everyone's telling him, do not go to this kid who you just seen Thanos a whole universe. He just put his hands together. Bye. And it's a kid. The Goku that was in Z would have been like, nah, that's too dangerous. I can't do that. Let me just train and fight Vegeta. He's almost up to me, I guess. I, I hope. You know, let me go hit. It. Let me let me buy myself a hit. The fight hit. And let him almost kill me so I could show him I could beat him at least. Okay. Even even if that's that's the stupidest shit I've ever seen, but whatever. He had the money. Um, but yeah, it's like that whole situation wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Goku. Even though in the story they say, well, Zamasu would have just destroyed some of the planets anyway. But how long would it have taken him to actually destroy the planets? Please, as you're listening and you might disagree with what I'm saying, or maybe you do agree, please note that like the gods burst was sleep so damn long he woke up and like yo what happened to Majin Buu yo he fought who wait what happened to Frieza what happened wait what this dude was sleep for so long that's Goku's lifespan basically Goku's like in his 40s if you really do the math so we wouldn't even know how long it would have taken them to do that. And even then, we don't know if their minds would have been changed in some some type of fashion because of how they are. Maybe because there's two Zamasus. They're not bored no more. They're just chilling together or whatever. So, But for Story to push Goku and his evolution of power and not evolution of actual character development, I like I understand why Terrence hates him. Because even me, like there's a lot of times in the Super Series where I wish... I wish Vegeta killed Frieza when he came back to life. I feel like Vegeta deserves that more than anyone else on the planet. Dude watches, he saw his dad die, watched his planet die, both with the same name. Then he was enslaved by him for most of his young life. Then he got killed by him. After getting probably one of the worst ass whoopings in anime. By him. And then let's not also forget that he, Frieza, also came back. And instead of Vegeta taking him down, his son from the future came down yeah. and took him out. So he couldn't even get the proper respect to take him down himself. Mm -hmm. His son had to do it for him. So in the end, he can't even basically fight his own battle. I think that's at least like that. I think that's at least a little that, but green. It's, it's, a little, that's it's, a little silver lining for him. Go, that's a silver lining. But he did, at first, did he even respect him as his son? He, he didn't know at the time. Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. So like... That's a but I'm pretty but sure when he found his, out. As his same but wait, pride, but wait, 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 no, 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 because Vegeta, like Vegeta's prideful, because he could, he will use that against Goku. Like, yo, bro, my son, my son's a Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. Like, but you know, I know you Vegeta know, like, said that. Vegeta, um, Goku will throw that right back at him, saying, "My son went to Super Saiyan too." See, but that's like later. I'm talking about the time power. though. It's that's like, what I'm saying, like for me, I don't see that because, like, because if you compare Gohan to Trunks, he wouldn't be like. But my son did this because he knows like that's his son. That's not him. It's True. all about um, Vegeta himself. It's always about me, me, me. See, right? And in this whole discussion between us of how Vegeta would act shows how much more development this man has had and hasn't even got the limelight. Mind you, he's not even my favorite character. I already told you is Gohan and Trunks. True. But 
we gotta give the man just due. This man has not even killed the final boss in any type of saga period. Because the next person I wish he should have gotten killed, that he killed, he should have waxed and got too hurt from anyway, was Zamatsu and Black Goku. Yeah. Because Zamatsu was fucking with his son and killed his wife in the future. Exactly. And he knew his son, at least. I understand Bowman, he might not give a fuck. He got his Bowman back at home. You know, she younger. You know what I mean? It's whatever. But at least future Trunks, he was terrorizing the man for a few years. And what happens? He go fight him. He gets him with one good move that winds up being able in Dragon Ball Z fighters. And he gets stabbed in the sword by the guy that looks like Goku, which is just so much worse. I feel like it was so terrible. It, at least the silver lining of that is that at least Goku got beat up too. It wasn't exactly. only Vegeta, but it still felt like it was this spell. Like, yo, Vegeta couldn't just, just, just wax on me real quick. Like, they couldn't just make a wish on the Dragon Balls to be like, hey, yo. And then that, like, that whole story, I feel like that story arc in itself, if we all talk about stories real quick, I think it just rolled itself into a corner. That's why most of the time they didn't even use immortal characters. Unless we use Garlic Jr., but they have the dead zone. Exactly. But, um. We had to throw him into it. Yeah, so like, that's the only guy that got him, immortal. Get rid of him. Yeah. And, but, with that, <laughs> on that, on that note, I'm looking at the time. Because I said we was going to try to do a half hour, but obviously we went way past that. We're at 40 I, I minutes said, now. I said, let's at least shoot for an hour. That's fine. That's no, we're going to do that. I thought we wasn't going to talk that much, but we are. Cool. Mm-hmm. And this is great because we're only on the second topic. All right, so with this segue that we're going to do, with the nostalgia of just the fandom of everything, because we can do that with Star Wars, but that's a whole nother episode. Um, We'll go into our third topic, which is comics. With the comic, (laughs) we we are damn good in our knowledge of comics. I, me and Terrence, I say it, could be tied, but that's depending on the day. I'm a league lower, but I'm still good. Yeah, but you know, but it's like me and Terrence know. But sometimes I might know something that he don't know, and he knows stuff that I don't know, and I might know a whole arc. So, with nostalgia. I definitely say that you know at least more than me. Oh, okay. Well, I just didn't want to outright. Your knowledge is like... I rap about it. Yeah. <laughs> I rap about it. I have to. Like, it's... And you it's, know, and you love know way more about certain arcs than I do. True, so. true, true. Shout out to Comic Story. Yeah. Yeah. Comic book history. Sh- shout out to your, um, to your local comic book shop. Go in there and buy a comic book, even if you're not going to read it. Have it as a collectible. Take a picture of it and put it on your IG. Support your local Frame comic it. book shop. Frame it. Do what you got to do, bro. Keep them alive. Keep them up. Word. All right. So with that being said, we are still talking on nostalgia. So let's let's go into the nitty gritty. And I know this is gonna be a hot topic in this part because there's gonna be some people that agree and some people that disagree. With that being said, Titans. Now, I promise you, of all things about comics, the Teen Titans and the Titans are something that I know. Obviously, because my rat name is named after. The leader of the team, the original leader of the Teen Titans, the leader of the Outsiders, and the leader of the Titans themselves, Nightwing. I spelled it different, so I don't think it's no copyright. But that still being said, Titans. The thing I have with nostalgia with the Titans thing and every other freaking thing that happens with comic books that go into media, which is going to the mass media now because all these topics that we are talking about today are popular or more popular than it were when we were kids, is that everyone has an idea of what something should look like or what something should be when they don't even know. When it comes to Titans, the show, the TV show that is coming out eventually, probably on DC Universe. We don't know if it's going to be on actual TV yet. It should be. Pretty sure it's DC Universe. A lot of people have an idea of what it should look like based off the Teen Titans cartoon show that came out back in the day. Now, let me be the first to tell you, even though the Teen Titans cartoon show was very great, it was good, especially the last season, one of my favorite because it actually was story-driven instead of just random-ass episodes. It was incorrect. To drop knowledge for anyone that doesn't know, the first Teen Titans in the comic books is Robin Dick Grayson. Uh, Donna Troy, Wonder Girl, 
basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, Roy Harper, Speedy. Uh, Wally West, Kid Flash. Aqualad, I don't know his real name. <laughs> That's just facts. I don't know his real name, bro. And I think it's just Aqualad. I think it's just no. He, I think he has a real name. I just don't know. Cause there's there's a black one and there's a white one, but it's a white one. Oh. Um, and I'm missing one. I feel like there's six, but it's probably just five. No, no, no. CC, and that's the thing. So I, I know Beast Boy is one, but that's later after he's done. Yeah, he's not an originator, yeah. right? So let's go into it. So those were the first people that were Teen Titans, mm-hmm. bar none. They had their adventures. They grew up together. At some point, Donna Troy dies. I don't even remember how that happened, but she dies. So, then, as the Teen Titans continued being the Teen Titans, and certain people left, and certain people stayed, there was the Robin, the Starfire, the Beast Boy, Cyborg, and Raven into the team. And that's where you got that team that was made up into that cartoon series. And then that cartoon series gotten so popular and famous with everyone else, that's what we thought the Teen Titans were. And ironically, people didn't look into the comics except for people like me and me and Terrence. And basically that's where that nostalgia gets fucked up. Now, of course we have seen the trailer. Starfire doesn't look that great, but I'm waiting till the pilot or at least three episodes because there's been too many shows, especially from DC that three episodes in, it's not that great. And then the fourth gets popping. So, and especially of all things in the media, DC has the right to, for people to give it a chance, any show, a chance, at least on a TV show narrative in that aspect. Because Arrow came out dope, Flash came out dope, Legends DC Legends tomorrow. came out dope. They had Constantine in the past, that got canceled, but it probably was, a, I think it was ahead of his time. I didn't even get to see it because it got canceled that quick. But from him being a part of DC and seeing the same character that was playing him, the same actor, I felt like that was dope. And then... Yeah, so dope that he got his own animated show now. Yeah, and Black Lightning is dope. I like Black Lightning. Terrence doesn't. He thinks it's kind of corny. I get it. There's some moments where it's like, eh. But it's like, as a show and what the narrative is and what they're doing, I think it was dope. I think the people they put into the, the show was dope. They didn't put too many villains, but they did. And... Is I find it to be cool. I thought the execution was boring. It was just weird. Yeah, that's I fine. Think it came off super corny. Yeah. Some some parts was corny. Mm-hmm. Like like there was a scene there was a scene with the detective like <laughs> I was, <laughs> for you to get <laughs> for you to take ass, you gotta get ass. So some shit like that. It's some some really sus ass shit that the guy said and I don't Honestly, even know why. I, my honest opinion, I feel like it's a black lives matter movement type of show in disguise the way they execute. I don't see the problem with that. I was like, I don't even it's see. Like, it's, it's, it just comes off way too politically correct to me. Would you what? What would you want from that? Like, what mm-hmm. would you want? What would you want in that show? Then, like, I don't mind them focusing on black issues. Yeah, but it's the way they executed it. It's like, oh, the black community, this and like the black community, that. And but that's what happened with Black Panther. It, it's like who with who? No, nah, I said Black Panther. Wow. Well, technically it did, but um, <laughs> in some episodes. But um, with Black Lightning, that's what that's what happens. Like, like it, when Luke Cage, because we're we're in comics. With Luke Cage, it touched on those things, but just not as heavily because he's basically the Shaft when the comic book came out. And then you know, Iron Fist had his own thing, and then they came together, and that's what made it bigger. But as of Black Lightning, yeah. like Black like I said, Lightning, I, don't mind like, it. I feel like. It, it, was just, it was just kind of like in your face too much. At well, time. I'm pretty sure, in my opinion, that like I think it's needed. Was actually, a part of a very black, mm-hmm. um, black lighting himself, like even in his comic book run, was very about like it was about black issues. This is why like, again, you have, I have like, no statics. issues with that. But, but that's what I'm saying. If you're gonna complain about what basically its main premise was when it was a comic book, you're basically complaining about everything that it made itself become. What yeah, it is. I, I just and, think it could have been executed much better, in my opinion. Yeah, so, I think some. I think some lines were like well, a little like uh, it's it's lines, that's, no, it's the like, acting it's itself was just corny. To get ass, ass, you gotta like, beat. To get ass, you gotta get ass. Push a little too hard, but I feel like in what it's trying to do, I can't be mad at it because that's. 
literally okay. Um, but then talk again, about another, to uh, be fair, Church, Static Shock. Static Shock, it had its points of where literally it was about just a kid, but then also it had its black moments and it'll have its um just issues. There's a lot of things that it should have did maybe more like that, but it, like I said, it's coming off as itself to be this black issues matter kind of thing. And that's where I see like maybe that could be a little too creepy because then <coughs> especially in this way we are now in 2018 and even a little earlier than that, we've been basically been pushed and shoved down our throats too often sometimes that everything's always got to be Black Lives Matter when it is black people thing. It doesn't have to always be Black Lives Matter because I feel like we're always talking about that. We have so much to offer, but sometimes Black Lives Matter is always the main promise, but that's because we're going through so much issues at the moment and it's just to show, to the highlight, we're going through so much shit and mm-hmm. this is what you should see. Word. That's what I feel like. And, and, I, hope, and, and, I hope season two can change my mind. I think it. I think it will because. And just like I hope Iron Fist season two changes my opinion on that show. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. No, I haven't seen oh, it. I've been playing Spider Man. What else? Oh, <laughs> I finished. Have you, wait, you saw it? I finished it. You finished it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, for those, for good segue into Marvel. No, no, it's just comic books in general. No, no, but it's a segue into like the Marvel because you talking about DC for a bit in nostalgia, yeah. which. Yeah. We'll talk about both. Though. Yeah, hey, fuck it. All right, so with, with Marvel, as well as Spider-Man coming out, which I think kind of shot it in the foot when it came to Iron Fist Season 2. Season 2 came out this weekend. Like, we told you the date. Again, as of, again two days ago, as of this yeah. recording. As of, 9th, as of this recording. Yeah, so, so with that being said, Spider-Man obviously took the priority of the promotion online because I didn't see not one promo about Iron Fist Other than the whole weekend. The, no, like, I seen the trailer when it was coming out the weeks before Same. and telling us, oh, it's coming soon. It's like, yeah. oh, word, cool, awesome, I'm hyped. The but as of the weekend when it came out, I ain't seen nothing. You know how real it is? Whoever of those have Netflix... Usually when those shows come out, any Netflix show that's Marvel, it'll be front in your face when you turn on the Netflix. Iron Fist, I had to look for it. It wasn't even trending. Like, what's trending? Spider-Man it was not even there. Yeah, but no, I mean on the Netflix part. Like, and I understand what's trending would always be something that's like brand new or something new, like what it wants. It wasn't even but a brand new shit. They weren't even talking about it. But like I said, the reason why they won't is because the fact that the first season is so horrible. What's gonna trend if you if the first thing you seen was trash or just didn't like? Do you are you really expecting the second one to be trending after the first one was bad? That's I completely like like I completely understand, but it's like I think Marvel would have put some at least a little bit money on the same weekend that you're gonna put it out. Like exactly. you ain't going you like 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 slight into music, but we're gonna go into that a little later. But like artists, bigger artists do these surprise album things. You you can't do that with a movie. Or a show. You have to have anticipation to build up to it. Mm-hmm. They barely already had it in one trailer. And, and in the chore- on the chore- uh, choreography oh, yeah. trailer they showed to prove that they were they learned their lesson about the choreography that was horrible in one season one. But they didn't say nothing. Like it was it was obsolete. Let alone everything else that happened in the same weekend, which we we will touch on briefly. Mm-hmm. So since Terrence didn't see the season of Iron Fist Two, I am very happy that he has said that before I have had any spoiled anything or said anything. But what I can say, for one, for those who know me and, and listen to my music and been a part of it for a while, I do have a song called Iron Fist, basically explaining his origins and accolades and things that he's done. Because I am an Iron Fist fan. It's not like, I guess he's in my top 10 of heroes. I like him a lot. Mm-hmm. And I respect uh, it. Yeah. And. Season one wasn't that great. Yeah. Out of all the series, season one is the worst. Yep. And mm-hmm. that's just bar none. But what I did like is what they were leading up to. Because with the end of season one, or during season one, when Davos came into the picture, I already know who the fuck Davos was. Davos is still surfing. That is the arch nemesis of Iron Fist. So I already knew something was going to go down between the two in season one where they were going to have uh, be at odds. But I was happy to see him help Iron Fist and them have that kinship and not just be hero and villain, but actually 
their development between each other being hero and villain be better. I already knew that the Meacham situation of his dad is the reason why his family is gone. I already know that Joy Meacham would be something of trying to get revenge in some type of way because there's a story arc about that. You know. Um, so, like, Colleen, I learned her, what her involvement with Misty in the. I, I know it's Rosario Donaldson, her sexy ass, but yeah. um, Claire. um, yeah, Claire. I know what those three future entails, and I'm wondering if they're gonna go through with it. It looked like it is though, but with season two and what it starts off as is, Danny Rand is protecting Chinatown or where he lives at because at the end of Defenders, Daredevil, who is presumed dead by the characters in the Defenders, he told Danny, "Yo, protect my city." Danny took it to heart. He's like, all right, bet. So he was iron fisting it the fuck up to these yeah. villains. And it's not a spoiler for me because it's in the trailer. Yup. And basically, from moving on from there, stuff happens. A lot of a lot of good shit happens. A lot of action. A lot of a lot of a lot of fist. A lot of fisting. <laughs> nah, but um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Stupid. And 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 the thing about. Well, at least with the Marvel series, at least the Marvel Netflix series, is that they picked the heroes that I feel like nostalgia couldn't affect them in a way. You can't tell people, you can't tell Netflix or Marvel, yo, this is how Daredevil should be. No, because they they did it right, and not only did they do it, they did, right, they all did it right, they all did it correctly. They they took some liberties and changes, but. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like the people don't know about it like that. Yeah. Like, if you if you seen Jessica Jones season two, they have the wizard in it. He's not in Jessica Jones. He's in something else. Wait, who? The the fat guy that was running fast. Oh, the yeah. wizard. The yeah. wizard is someone in Marvel, but he's not with Jessica yeah, Jones. Yeah, but that was his name. Yeah. Okay. Like he's I'm the wizard, and she's like, get the hell out of here. No, that was his actual name. Oh, okay. Or the fact that they ain't. Like let's be let's just go into history real quick of Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones, when she met up with Purple Man, she was a superhero named Jewel. Yes. She had that suit that you see in season one that her sister, who is another character as well, which you'll see in season three. That's why I can't wait for it. Cause I can't wait for her to get an ass bust. Um, yeah. Because her sister's oh a jackass. Um, I hated her. For real, for real. Um, but she was Jewel. Cause I not to be. I guess it's a plug, but saying I also have a song named Defenders, which uh, a rapper named uh, Frivolous Shard plays Jewel in the song, and she kind of goes in on that part or references that part. I have a lot of friends that know about comics, and they also know how to rap, so it's dope. Uh, if you didn't see that enough. Yeah, right. Um, I'll probably be playing it at this part like in the background. I could do that. Oh, I could do that. All right, cool. So, <laughs> all right, 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 right. Is <laughs> capitalism? No, nah, but uh, <laughs> nah, but um. With that being said, like the Netflix series, I I I call it streaming. I don't even call it TV because they be no, having their whole. That's my TV. That's now. a whole. That's it's your yeah, it's your TV, but it's like if you had cable, if someone has cable, you Which, can't see who those has cable anymore. A lot, a lot of people got cable. A lot of people, Some people, people got I cable. Do. I don't use it. There's but no. My it's, does. My mom refuses to just stick with like Netflix. For real. Me. You know we use the Wi-Fi. All you need is Way Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. The big that's, three. That's why. I, uh, I don't like eh. Amazon. But that's just because my that, personal. That's certain shows. True, true. Now I'm Amazon's saying. Amazon's show selection and uh, movie selection could be a lot better. Yeah. No, I, I just didn't. It's like still the, clamped the, up in there as far as like major streaming services. True. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. In this era of Wi Fi, like in our area, we do not, I personally do not have good Wi Fi at all. Word, yeah, so like. Especially with 14 siblings. With that being said, and plus, like, you know, like who has cable anymore? They're like, there's no way that Arrow can be having, like, what, six, seven seasons now? Exactly. Without without people being on cable, there's no way. No, not enough people would be watching that. But what's called, do remember that it's also streaming services, because doesn't Google have a connection with Arrow? They story. had before, and then they stopped. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it stopped it. like they stopped because they signed a deal with Netflix, where basically when the season ends, it goes up right away. Like cock block, you know, yeah. just yeah, that's how it be. Well, now seeing as like, DC this. Universe is going to be a thing, they're going to probably have it all on there anyway. So once again, it's still going to be streaming onto something else. Definitely true. Mm-hmm. So 
um, to continue like those shows, even even the DC cartoon shows, not cartoon, um, DC shows like except Flash, I could say, because no matter who tells you, unless they're really into comics like that. No one knew a lot about Arrow. There's a lot of things about Arrow that was not correct. Yeah, There's a lot of things right. that they put in. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of villains from Batman that he fought. Yes, exactly. it's very Batman. But yeah, in the beginning it was really Batman esque, aside from the killing. But you know, yeah. it wound up getting better and it wound up being a necessary evil because, like, if for those who've seen Gotham and think it's a good series, I think it's a good series, but it gets gets a little crazy yeah. because you're never going to get to the point where Batman be Batman. You're not going to get a Batman TV show because he's too big to just have a TV show, even though that's something that we should have. Should but have. we might not have it. Yeah. But overall, same with Superman. Superman ain't going to have no TV show anymore. He yeah, had that shit in the past. The most you'll see of Superman most. is in Supergirl. Exactly. Shows up like twice, exactly. Twice and, a and that's a good series. And people don't know about Supergirl enough to see yeah. or fact check. Because that's the thing about it. Is like everyone wants to be like such a know-it-all when it comes to certain aspects of media that they fact check everything with based off whatever small amount of information they have without actually doing the research. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that, like, you can check my facts when it comes to Teen Titans. You can check, like, Dick Grayson was in the, the first team and that these people... when it comes to Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, for real, for real, you can do that. I, I I would rather be wrong in some situations so I can learn better. Sound like a jackass in another episode. So, um, of course, with that being said, we... Well, let's let's put this little last part in. We're hour in. We're, we're gonna... Really? Yeah, we're hour in. You said 40 minutes not too long ago. Yeah, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. And we still gotta do the music part. And we're not going to go that hard in the music part that deeply. We're just going to talk about current events with music. Yeah. But we're not going there yet. We got to have one last discussion that we've always had. And we have to put it into the episode, which will probably be a reoccurring topic, obviously. Yeah. So the whole DC versus Marvel thing. I can honestly say that I think all of us are fans of just comic books in general as oh, long as it's a good yeah. comic book no, we're good with it love, i just love them both you know what i'm saying i think the majority of society now is accepting comic both books. no no just but my siblings and my, my there's siblings, a comic book war they're strictly just marvel they hate uh, everything yeah right 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 exactly. so oh, this is where but they, but yeah they i'm saying justice. yeah they love yeah. justice too but it will refuse anything to see like oh yeah, marvel see, this the movies are the best thing yeah right because if you Walking Dead would be as popular if it wasn't for the comics. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like it still be a little popular because the TV show did run really well. I'm mm, just saying, like, but it, it, it crashed really well. It though, crashed too. later, but I'm saying yeah. when it first came up, it was doing well. And I promise you, it's not many people I know were reading comic books of um, Walking Dead. Word. A lot of people don't know the Ninja Turtles based off of a comic book originally. Yeah, exactly. but that's because the Ninja Turtles media is really good. It's, if you're really, really talking about it, like Ninja Turtles, the cartoon, the first cartoon, they had like they damn they had like that's three the four into, successful cartoon shows exactly. in its time of running. Exactly. But so same level, nah, I don't want to say same level, mm. but it reminds me of like Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo's had like how many different reruns over and over again. No, no, no yeah, I, I get Scooby-Doo you on the cartoon level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now yeah. it's a comic show, but I'm saying like it's like Scooby Doo where it's been rerun how many times and still is like in this modern day. People know of the shows. Oh, yeah. I don't know Hellboy was based off of a comic book. Yeah, but that's the fact that that took him a minute. Last time you seen anyone actually show Hellboy? That's a comic. No, no, that's true. That's true. Even though they're bringing him back, apparently. I mean, yeah, well, you've seen him in Injustice, so they're probably trying to do something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel, feel like part of the reason that. I feel like part of the reason something. they put him in Injustice was to get people familiarized with Hellboy. Again. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. they can show the movie. That, oh shit! I was just playing with him. I just paid like what five dollars for him. Like yeah. But um, with with that. Like the whole DC versus Marvel thing. It's pointless. Through, yeah, it, it really is because, in my opinion, they both have great character. Their own set of great characters. They all have their own set of great their characters. Own set of great stories. Exactly. They all have very very big moments that happen in comic books because yeah, when super with each other numerous times. Yeah. yeah. And because like if y'all were didn't know that mm-hmm. a lot of people are like oh I want them to cross over and that really they, they already did they, they just won't cross over in the movies yeah. not anytime soon not anytime I don't even know if it, Marvel, Marvel actually, looking like Sony right like now 40 years from now Marvel looking like Sony right now they ain't gonna do it yeah maybe mm-hmm. we might get that Marvel looking like Sony so they ain't gonna do that exactly but yeah to go into it it's like I'm a big fan of both 
but if you go because people like to use brackets like like they used to be like oh what is the comics better than what people automatically put oh, marvel because they, they don't read it this movie? are the movies better than dc movies yes because dc keeps rushing what the fuck they're doing and instead of focusing on speeding up on certain aspects they just constantly just fuck themselves over because they want to catch up to marvel yeah. So, with the movies, yes, Marvel is beating them. With comics, I'm leaning more towards DC anyway because they brought back the Watchmen. And I yeah. don't even... Yeah, the Watchmen is back in DC. And A lot of people didn't probably even know Watchmen was a DC film. Exactly. exactly. Let alone with the whole Static Shock situation of why exactly. we don't see Static Shock. Which, which we'll annoying. talk about that annoying. in another episode because that's something I feel like is a big topic. Exactly. Because... If Static Shock didn't have that type of situation going on with him, he probably would have had the show instead of Black Lightning. He would have had Boom. a show, a movie. All that. He would have had all that. A tie into how many different things because he's been a well-loved character. Word up. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's like if we're going to go to animated series or cartoon series of all time, DC. I got to no, I gotta say Tide. Of tied. animated series. Oh, like shows. Like, yeah, cartoon shows. I give uh, it a Tide because what's called? It's, it's a Tide. like where it is now I feel like yeah um, even Marvel yeah. like with his Marvel Avengers yeah. is actually doing really well yeah cause they had Spider-Man yep they had X-Men, X-Men. Yep. they had Avengers yep they had they, they had a Hulk and Iron Man and they've done Spider-Man how many times and, yeah yeah, yeah. Fantastic Four. yep yep and they had Spider-Man. Silver Surfer yep. even though Thanos won at the end yeah yep. Silver Surfer was a cartoon show yep surprise wow. Yep, at the end of it, I, it got canceled. New every day. Yeah, right. I didn't know you didn't know, but um, but, but yeah. And then if we go to DC, yeah, they had Superman. No, I, I said Hulk. Had yeah, yeah. Because with DC, they had Superman, they had Batman, and then they had the Justice. League. They had the Justice League and Justice yeah. League Unlimited. Teen yep. Titans. And Teen also, Titans. Um, Static Shock. Uh, Static, Static Shock, Shock. But I'm trying to say the show that's on DC Universe that just got rebooted. What Ray? No, the show that was canceled on Cartoon Network. Oh, Young, oh, Young, Young Justice. Justice. Thank you. Yeah. Young Justice, they had Young yeah. Justice. I don't know how I fucked that up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And they're finally bringing that back. And mm-hmm. then now, even on DC Universe, they're giving more shows. Whereas Swamp Thing's going to get his own show. Harley Quinn's getting her own what? show. Yeah, they're they're, gonna they're put doing the that on DC. Movies back up on there? Yeah. On DC Universe. And then obviously, all the properties going to be on that show. We're getting for DC, we're getting like the um, Sirens, uh, mm-hmm. Gotham City Sirens. So we're going to have Harley Quinn, um, Catwoman, um, and Poison Ivy in their own movie. I would love to see yeah, that. If they do it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If they do that right, I would love to see that. Yeah. I just want both properties to get the respects. They're fucking amazing. When you're talking about Avengers or when you're talking about any characters from um, DC, everybody's always putting something great. And it's uh, fucked up that people still argue over this you, This property is better than the other one. Yeah. When you should just enjoy the comic in it overall. Exactly. Which is enjoying a product. That would be a segue into music. So, recently, because we done told you the date is the 9th <laughs> of September. Uh, before we start with anything, let's do a rest in peace shout out to Matt Miller. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, we, we, will, we will put a moment of silence for Mac Miller. Respect. Mac Miller, I can honestly say I've listened to him a lot during the time. I was listening to Our Future Wolfgang Killamall group, and then that got me on the Mac Miller. And then I was listening to his. I was just listening to um, his album. Um, I think he's watching movies with the sound off, because that's the one. That's the one that had Earl on it and Red Dot Music with Action Bronson and other amazing songs. SDS. And it's like, it's weird to hear how he passed away yeah. in that aspect. It, it, when I it did the felt research, so foreign to understand that he really did. Pass yeah, away. that he's dead. That he's yeah, actually dead. Yeah. It's not, not a lie. Not, not coming back. Not just you know, haha. It's a stunt. No, he he's really gone. It, yeah. it hurt. Like I I remember listening to Party on Fifth Ave just because I don't know it was just a song that came on the radio and I fucking loved it. And after that, I just couldn't stop listening to any of his other songs. And to know that this guy that I kind of felt like I grew up with is now kind of just grew up and now passed on. Only a year older than me because he died at the age of 26. Yeah. It hurts to understand that. It yeah. Really and, and the real shitty part about it, which I'm going to say, I'm going to be sincere and I'm probably going to be real, real rough with it right after. 
not towards him, but just towards, I guess, the internet. You can't control what the internet does or say, but because me, I'm, I'm, he was a year younger than me, him passing away, and what sucks is some people like I don't really feel bad for him because he overdosed, and it's kind of like. And then not only that, it's not, it's like people can have that thought. You can think whatever you like. It's when you go out your way to try to make other people feel bad for feeling bad about someone that passed away. Like, it's still a life. Someone exactly. still died. Exactly. So, even if you didn't know the person, if, yeah, well. like if you ain't know him, he's a celebrity. Yeah, he has nothing to do with you. Okay, but he probably at least at least just pay your respect. Yeah, like someone died, bro. Like, they like get over your fucking self. Cause really, most of the time when people are saying some shit like that, it's because they just want to put themselves in the limelight. Like, oh, I'm, I'm being a little edgy. You know, he was he was doing drugs and whatever. It's like okay, and it, it shows that you're being one an asshole. Yeah, it, it proves that like what's called. You don't really understand how to respect other people's feelings. You may have your own thoughts and processes of how you feel about the situation, but we're not processing we're not processing it the same way you are. Exactly. And it's fucked up for you to disrespect how we feel about it, especially when you know it bothered or affected us in some type of way. If that person was my best friend and you're downgrading and saying like, who the fuck cares? Who the fuck are you? Yeah, for real. Like, stop trivializing other people's emotion emotions. Trivializing, we can look it up. Um, yeah, I said it, but um, to go into just that, which recent music news aside from the passing of Mac Miller, Eminem last I think it like last week dropped the surprise album. A few, yeah, a few days. I want to say a few days. It was like a few days. No, I think it was a week ago. No, it's like, real soon. It wasn't well, in, wasn't it's it the in. Friday before? It was within. No, it wasn't even. It yeah. even hit the weekend. That's the first weekend of it. Exactly. Yeah, all this stuff is yeah, happening way fast. Like in the middle of like beginning of September, that's when it's like around. We're now we're on the ninth of September. Word. So it's like uh, Eminem dropped his um, surprise new album called Kamikaze, which to give you a brief overview of what it's about, um, the last album he dropped, Revival, was almost unanimously called unanimously. Oh, unanimously. I don't even know. Unani- uh, yeah, that's hard. Unanimous. Can't, you, <laughs> it was unanimous, basically, considered. basically the, the the fan base of hip hop, and I could say pop, maybe even the populace of masses, did not like the album at whole. Like it wasn't good, and it was being outspoken that it wasn't good. And blackballed all over the place. Yeah, like it was just, it was even called trash. I I yeah. haven't listened to it, so I can't call it trash. But I, from looking at the playlist, I wasn't that interested into the album. With that being said, Kamikaze came out, and that shit was exactly what I wanted to hear as a rapper, as a person that likes bars and lyricism and and flow and, and, and cadence and all that shit. I'm not a fan of mumble rap, but I don't diss mumble rap. I'm not an old head, but I do like my bars. My favorite rapper is Royce the 5'9", and I'll just say this just to start it off. I think Royce the 5'9 is a better artist than Eminem. Eminem's just a bigger artist, but... If anyone wants to debate that in the comments, we definitely can, by all means. But to go back into what we were saying, Eminem dropped this Kamikaze album to basically say an insult to respond and to diss anybody who had something to say about the album and any past other past transgressions. The names of people who were called out, Charlemagne the God, all the littles, <laughs> all, all of them, Lil all, all Lil whoever the fuck, everybody, every Lil except Wayne because he ain't Lil no more. It, oh, um, Joe Button, which that whole thing is crazy. Even though I don't think anyone, anything will come out of it. Arguably, the biggest thing to come out of this situation, in, in MGK, and Joe Button's a bigger name than MGK. I'm saying like as far as like people who actually responded and how. Oh, okay. And stuff yes. That, Stuff that's blown up. Yes, I can say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. MGK. Uh, obviously, Joe Bug is. And Tyler the Creator. Actually, no. Tyler the Creator is a bigger name, but MGK no, no, actually responded. I ain't, I ain't denying that. Okay. I'm yeah. just saying, like, as far as, like, you know, response wise, like, yeah. Machine Gun Kelly is the only one that's, like, really blown up. That's because, like, that, alright, so we'll go into that. MGK was, um, this. Now, I've said this in the past, like, 
like today before we recorded basically mm-hmm. I said MGK is the only one out of the whole list of people that got dissed or responded to that deserve a diss or response to because I guess years ago he said something like a joke towards Eminem's daughter when she was underage even though that's still Eminem's daughter so even if she was of age that's still kind of disrespectful as fuck I don't I'm not I'm not a I'm not a parent yet or you know you know you don't know what happens in the future but basically I'm not a parent but I do understand that you shouldn't be talking about other people's kids or even joke around with other people's kids the world is kind of sick there's a lot of sick people so sometimes we let jokes go and then a, a person can use that as an excuse to do something real fucked up so I don't really even like those type of jokes at all I don't even chuckle at them it's just I think it's corny if you're funny you can make another joke you know what I'm saying so like with that being said Machine Gun Kelly said a joke on Haley I guess a few years like six years back I guess right uh, 2012, 2012. alright so six years so I guess behind the scenes shit happened Machine Gun Kelly did a sub to Eminem on Tech 9s song called No Reason which is available on all streaming sites. I got it on Spotify. Um, and it's an obvious sub to Eminem. People were like debating if it was a sub. It's definitely a fucking sub. Um, and then Eminem finally responds because, of course, he wasn't going to do that revival because it was towards social issues that were going on. My issue with revival or why I feel like it was bad because you were talking about these social issues but it felt like you just went half ass in the song creation and what you were doing in your efforts. It didn't seem like you gave the same effort as you did on Kamikaze. So you put more effort into responding to other people and being angry about the fact that people called your album whack when it was whack. But you kind of proven the like you you proved the point of like you had the ability to come with the ferocity of lyricism that we know you for that we let you have the rap god title for but you didn't put it in revival so you kind of proved the point that revival is not that good you kind of proved that point eminem proved that point when chlorosetic remix came out and he subbed joe budden in that first place but to go back into that the reasonable dissing mgk was this at first i thought it was r kelly sub too because he's like I already know who you are Kelly I thought it was like oh okay yeah. but I guess that was like a connection of R. Kelly being a pedophile um and MGK making that joke while his daughter was underage I think that was the metaphor in itself maybe I don't I, no one pointed it out yeah. but I think that's what it was but um basically MGK op- optimistic I could say uh, optimistic mood of move on his career he does back yeah. and is bold it was very bold because in the history of eminem being in hip-hop the disses that he had to make or beefs was and the last one i'm gonna say you're gonna be surprised because people forgot i had to look this up benzino a little bit of ja rule a little sprinkle of ja rule because i was i was 50 um fred durst Christina Aguilera, Mariah Carey, Don't forget that one. Michael Jackson. He dissed Michael Jackson. I mean, I thought that was a joke. Kind of, but he dissed him in song. Right, and his mom then. And, 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 yeah, and his own mom, but that's not, you know. That was a whole count. hard That's thing. a whole, his mom and his baby moms. True. So, Kim. So, let's go yeah. into yeah, uh, just a little, little, if I'm wrong, let me know. This is something that I've heard and I looked up. But, you know, the internet sometimes can force certain situations and information that I look up. So if I'm wrong, let me know. I am cool with that. It is what it is. But from what I remember or what I looked up, when Eminem this Michael Jackson, he Michael Jackson tried suing him first. Eminem made another song dissing him about suing him. And Michael Jackson just brought his music in the sense of owning his music for a certain amount of time. Which I think is the most gangster shit anyone could do. Yeah, you gonna diss me, bitch? You my hoe now. Woohoo! Like, it's just like, it's just like, take that, bitch. Like, he has that much money. You cannot do anything. That's disrespectful. That's rude. Now, yeah, right? King, king shit. Yeah, king movements. Mm hmm. Boss moves. But if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But it was, it sounded, it sounded nice. I believe it. Michael Jackson did have that much. He had Neverland Ranch, bro. I think he owned somebody's publisher. So, 
with MGK's diss, would I say it was entertaining? Yes. It was good and it was entertaining. Eminem will obviously beat him if Eminem actually responds. Especially if he comes out as we expect him to? Yeah, which he it's will. It's gonna be real. Which he will. Bad. Because, first off, even though he didn't start the said beef, he ignited the said beef into public. Because before it was a lot of background shit of yeah. MGK being blackballed from Shade 4 or 5 and other, and other situations. Uh-huh. But as of now on the forefront where everyone's talking about it, you know, before the passing of Mac Miller, because now that's all over the timelines and that's yeah. sad. But and, well, now, now. Yeah, for now. And Cardi. Yeah, we're going to, oh, we're going to speak on that. Too. Woo! Mm, thank you. But to go into it, MGK's diss was, uh, it was barely disrespectful. Yeah. Like, he called him a bitch. Like, it was dis- barely disrespectful. He's like, we know you're the guy, we know you're the goat. Why don't you let us eat? And some type of shit like that. Yeah. It was like, it was not as disrespectful as you can be, but how disrespectful can you be at Eminem when you don't really have that much information on it, man? Exactly. He so doesn't all, have. All what you're just dealing with and what's happened to you from Eminem yeah. is literally what he can complain about. And other than that, he's giving him basically props on the fact that, damn, screw you for fucking me over. But those are boss moves you made. Each one, no matter what it is. Yeah, it's like you have that power. I couldn't. Fight like you, you. Like, let's talk me. about how you blackballed me because I made a joke. Exactly. And it's like, well, that's, that's not, a boss that's, move. That's we boss can't. Move. We can't move. get mad at M for doing that. He he can do that. If he can do that, that's some ball shit. Exactly. He can control your output. Your basically your position and power to take it away. Exactly. That's, that's a high power. That's move. That's pretty dope. So he had to give him, even though it was supposed to be a diss, it still sounded like he still had to, and as uh, everyone understands, he is a fan of freaking Eminem. Yeah. But you're going to tell he's a fan of Eminem. So it hurts when you got to see that your own idols basically shit Become your rivals. Me. Ain't that something, huh? Mm-hmm. Your idols become your rivals. Exactly. But, um, all right, so with, with going with that, it's like, if M doesn't diss MGK back, I, don't, I can't say M was bodied the, I'm real picky with my words when it comes to rap you can get beat you can lose a battle you can take an L and then you can get bodied a good example let's see beef. Um, I feel like between the beef of Jay Z and Nas mm-hmm. I was about to say at too. the time yeah right that's one of the most iconic ones mm-hmm. between yeah. Jay Z and Nas yeah. Jay Z lost the battle yeah he didn't get bodied he lost just people battle. people like using and this go back to nostalgia mm-hmm. that got nostalgia saying ether body jay but jay got him with takeover too and super ugly it was really disrespectful too yeah. so it's like it was really getting it was getting there between them two anyway that's why it halted but in the same situation it's like jay-z didn't get bodied he just lost you know what I mean? Ether came out on top, but it wasn't even that much. And it's still debatable in between hip-hop conversations, barbershops, and all that shit, of which one was actually better and who actually won. Because you look at the situations of what's going on now between Jay-Z and Nas and what TakeOver has been said, you can actually debate that. Mm-hmm. Manifest Destiny on the song. Exactly. Um, but in the end, who really came up on top? It's hard to say that it isn't Jay-Z. Now, let's say an example of someone who got body when Pusha T was going against Drake. Mm-hmm. That's, a body. That's a body. The reason why it's a body. Now, of course... Drake versus Meek. I can't say I was... Oh, that yep, was that's a body. body. That's, that's a body. That's a body. That's a body. That's a body. All right, let's use that. Let's use that. And that... And, all right, good, good. That's a better That's a better one. Yes, Meek Mill got bodied. Mm-hmm. Meek Mill came in unprepared. That was on him. We already know the situation by a singing nigga. And now, that happened like what? Like three years ago? Not even. It's crazy. Yeah. I think it was three. It was three years ago. I was at my old job. Really? Yeah, it was more than three, more than three years ago. No, you know? Time flies. That ass. Time flies, look man. Up right I was a cook. Up, I was a cook back then. I was a cook at Mo Burger. No, I could have sworn this happened like last year. The ah, Meat Mill and Drake not. thing? No. Yeah, last year. Meek was in jail. Yeah. <laughs> no. He was in jail last year. No. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like I two did, albums I before. Maybe at, at most probably two to three years. Yeah, for real, for real. 
So, so, I know that Meek was in jail so and also the songs that he wow, yeah, three or four years. I, I can't believe time has flown by. That. Exactly, that right? right? That was a blur, right, bro? And that's how and that's how bad that battle was. It was like, yeah. damn, son, like we <laughs> you playing playing that shit for that long. Yes, so we'll use the Meek Mill and Drake mm-hmm. um, beef because now on the weekend in the show, I think in Boston that Drake had, yeah. he brought out Meek Mill. Yeah. And he and Meek Mill performed oh, no, the intro. I, I just, wow. I That's audible. the thing I can respect about mm-hmm. guys. When we beat, we this. usually sometimes like squash and we become friends. Or it's yeah, it's like, like it's good. As for, of yesterday, this, I just can't. Believe yeah, it's squash. Yeah, as of yesterday, the, the thing is squash and it's cool yeah. because they got over it. It, it seemed like they were been over it because mm-hmm. you know Drake was being like free Meek as well when he was you know yeah. inside good. and stuff like that. that. And plus, like Meek Mill matured a lot more. Yeah, he definitely did. Like you, you can see it as his vernacular and how he talks in interviews and shit like that. So it's like There's no reason for them To still be They probably been talked it out mm-hmm. they, You know Business, business You know begets Trump business talks, so But like With So Eminem If he loses I think he will catch an L Because he just didn't respond Because he put himself In a situation of igniting This respond. battle Yeah it would be dumb But it is what it is You but know what I mean say, It's not like we're gonna cancel respond, Eminem I give him um, Andy Kelly respond, uh, Respect For the fact that That he actually did it He did it Most people don't, don't do come it. out, or if they do, they come out trash and they get body. Yeah. But he came out, he came out as hard as he could to try to defend himself and at the same time say how he felt about the issue. Yeah. I mean, and this, and and we, we can honestly say, say, say trash. No one can say it was oh that was trash. That word was up. Horrible. Word. And we can honestly say that MGK gave out the gave the best diss to Eminem. Period. Exactly. Unless you want to go to the Royce, but Royce was going at D12, but they, they probably wasn't lying to M. Mm. But I don't think it was a whole diss. Wait, I could be wrong. Royce now? No, 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 no. Like in the past. Oh, okay. Like in the past, Royce went up against D12 and body D12. Mm-hmm. But um, that's how I put it. I don't care what I'm saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so with that segue of that beef, because there was so much news that came out this weekend alone, it's, it's, which it's, I feel really bad wow. about Iron Fist. Um, there's no way anyone was talking about Iron Fist this weekend at all. God, no. uh, there's only uh, one man. post that has. But um, Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj. This will be a very brief conversation because once I explain the information that I've gathered and seen, yes, please. Inform it will be it will just be shut. I have no knowledge of this. I could care less about Cardi mm-hmm. B and Nicki Minaj. I am not fans of either of them. I like, yeah, they, them, I like Cardi, but I do mm-hmm. feel like, I like Cardi Cardi if, if we're gonna compare it's the two, Cardi is obviously better. Yeah, Nicki Minaj sounds like a broken record on damn near every record that she's on. Mm. So, mm. yep, word. So, with that being said, so at some point of the night in the weekend, Nicki and Cardi was at some fashion show in New York. Mm-hmm. Probably some really big one. I I'm not into fashion like this. I don't know these mm-hmm. names, no but um. I guess Cardi pulled up on Nikki and tried throwing a shoe at Nikki. Nikki dodged it and they were trying to fight. And in the video, which you probably can see all around the internet, oh, yeah. Cardi was like Scorpion saying, Come here! Come here! <laughs> Get over here! Get over here! Try that. And, and Nikki was like, Either I'm right here or I'm staying right here behind her security. Now, with my. I'm. I'm. It's hard to say I'm a real person. Is there a reason person. why they feel fighting? Let me explain. The reason why Cardi was flipping out to the point that she wanted to square up and beat her ass and pull up on her like that is because Nikki liked a post that someone, or reposted something that someone else said because I guess Cardi tweeted, welcome back Kodak, because he got out of jail. Someone retweeted it and said, yo, if I find it really, unco- I, I find it really uncomfortable or something about her child that she is the endorse endorsing wasn't the word but basically she is endorsing a rapist and this and that when you have a child when you have a child i feel bad for the child and nikki liked it or retweeted it now for those who are not on twitter like that when you retweet things if when you like things even though it might it might be on accident it's really important to people that really be on twitter cuz it kind of shows that you agree with them that you're saying it without saying it Moving forward, I'm openly going to say, like, if I retweet something and I agree, I'm going to agree with it. Unless I have a quote of it and I'm saying something differently, like I'm disagreeing with it or I'm replying to it in disagreement to it. But if you just retweet it and have no words towards it, you might as well just be 
posting it yourself. Exactly. Like, really. So, with that being said, so with that being said, in so fact though, Nikki this Cardi's newborn baby. Okay. Yeah. So really, in my head, oh fuck that. You know what I mean? Like all the little disses and you know the the little yeah, subs that they're doing. Forth, I yeah, don't square up over that. But you talking about someone's child that was just born? Are you nuts? Mm-hmm. Are you crazy? You, you bugging? Stroll up in a freaking hospital gown. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Internet it <laughs> worked. <laughs> worked. Yeah. And then the funny thing is, is like Cardi wound up with a knot. This story is that one of her friends, one of, I think like some Ra, Ra Ali or something hit yeah. her, or a security guard elbowed her in the side, or some face, shit. Yeah. But basically, Cardi came out that with a, 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 a knot right. in an explanation of what was going on. Nikki came out scratched, not even scratched, because she was behind security and had the best line. In all of history in the NFL, but um, <laughs> she was the quarterback. They were doing that real really? quick. Now yeah, I'm just even, saying, yo, know, word even, up, even with the Eagles? words, son. They had the Eagles line in that bitch. That's yeah, why, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, they had double. They started out Thursday night and they came Friday night and protected her ass. Yeah, yeah. they gotta get that side money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, you know. That Falcons lineup, I didn't even watch the game. I was like, I had a show, but uh, <laughs> but basically, um. That that's basically it. So any other updates that might be happening between them two? Honestly speaking, I'm probably the only one that kind of cares because I like the ratchetness. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, you I don't condone. It. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna condone it. But it's like in certain situations, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, son. You talking about someone's kid? Ah, right, you shouldn't be doing that. You should never bring in someone's kid into a situation that you have. There's so much other shit you can make fun of somebody else. Mm-hmm. Like for real, for real. But with that being said, like it's just weird. You know what I mean? Like it, it's it's like because the internet you can see the fandom, you can say nostalgia, of people who pick in sides and don't give a fuck because people are like, well, Cardi's being a hypocrite because she said something about someone else's child, and I I comment like, well, if that mother wanted to beat up Cardi, she then that's right. by all means. But anyone who made a joke to a child, anyone who made a joke to a child, you probably should get your ass beat. Or prepare to get your ass beat. You should kind of see the action coming. That's one of those things in all, no matter what culture, race you are, you shouldn't be pulling that bullshit. You should be ready for the action that's going to come right after. Especially if it's a newborn baby. Exactly. Shit, Jimmy Happy was actually the mother. Sometimes it's actual men who get it. Yeah, word up. And take out, um, take it out on people. Word up. So at least, it's fucked up to say, these things were handled between two women. Yeah. And at the same point, it, like I wish they just had fight. This is why we miss MTV celebrity boxing because this would have been great. That would have been I selling the mad celebrity tickets. Death match. That's what I'm saying. Either or, well, well, same thing, or. same thing. Celebrity death match would have been hot if they claim made it those two to fight. That shit would have been hot. There's yeah, a lot of they, fights they, they, they could put up, son. Right now, we do Word. MGK, we do mm, Word. There's so many people. So, right so juicy, you, son. You it's know great. Be even better. Just make the new Def Jam. Like they keep teasing. Oh, they actually and just teased that too, right? Again? Yeah. What's it called? My little brother showed me it. They said oh, like actually, choose a they, city. Um, I think they gave it. Yeah, with um, Jay Z in the front. What was it? Um. I no, that was that was a fake one. That was a fake one. Because right? they had one with Eminem. Word? Yeah, because it was saying like world domination mm-hmm. with Eminem on it, and I was like, all right, no, that's fake. World War, yeah. World War or something yeah. like yeah. But with that, we are at an hour and a half in two minutes, so we well, are yeah, we are we are in it, bro. We, we hit the limits. So if you are at the end of this episode, we thank you. For we thank you long, so much. Than what we, we were expected, planning. yeah, for real. I was, this is, I was expecting at least an hour. Yeah, I expected like thirty minutes, but yeah. damn, so we went in. And I'm happy. So, this is... I want to thank everyone that is listening. I want to thank everyone that is kind of been giving me the idea of doing this anyway. I'm happy for everyone who has gotten this far of listening. We finally sit down and do this. Fine. Yeah, and we will be fine. definitely doing more. Because obviously we have a lot to fucking talk about. Yeah. So, yeah. with that being said... I'm Digi. I'm Master T. I'm Nightwing. And we out.